This video demonstrates how to install XAMPP, pronounced SHAMP for Macintosh. This video was updated in September of 2017. Direct your browser to apachefriends.org and click Download in the navigation bar. Scroll down to the SHAMP for OS X list. Click the third item in the list. There should be no VM in the name. At the time of this recording, the version for the third item was 7.1.8. Once the software is downloaded, launch the installer. If warned about opening software downloaded from the Internet, click the affirmative answer to proceed. When the software is installed, you will be shown a series of screens. For the first three screens, just click Next. On the fourth screen, turn off the checkbox asking if you want to learn more, then click Next. Continue to click Next until the software installation is complete, then close the installer. Shamp should be running and a manager window should be available. Find the manager in your running applications. Across the top of the manager are three tabs. Click the Center tab to manage the servers. The Apache server should already be running. Click the top option to start the database server, then click the Start Server button to actually start the server. If the icons turn green for both servers, Shamp is running and you should now be able to check its operation. Return to the Welcome tab and click the Go to Application button on the right. A browser window should open on your local machine indicating that everything is installed and operating. If things do not work as shown, consult the troubleshooting section of the written tutorial. In order for you to build your own web pages, you will place your pages and other files in the web root folder. Go to the Applications folder on your machine and then find the Shamp folder. In it, you will find a shortcut item to the htdocs folder. The htdocs folder is the root and where you will build your website. In order to create web resources, you will need to point your development tool to this location and designate it or a folder within it as your project folder. Once you have done so, you are ready to begin building your website or applications. When you are done using Shamp, it is very important that you shut it down. Leaving it running uses computer resources that are not needed and can pose a security risk to your machine. Run Shamp only when testing your website using PHP. To quit Shamp, return to the Shamp Manager, go to the middle tab, Click the Stop All button at the bottom of the screen. When servers report that they have stopped, then quit Shamp. 